Hey everyone! Welcome to the fifth episode of the Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Haha, <laughs> got you again, didn't I? It's actually the Minish Cap, but yeah, welcome back to the fifth episode. Last time we climbed up to this floor of Mount Canal and this episode our main aim is going to be to kill this choo choo right here. No, I'm just kidding. This episode our aim is going to be to fully finish off scaling Mount Grinnell because it is one huge mountain. So first we're gonna head eastwards and check out that creature right there. Okay, never mind. I need to replenish my health really bad. Um, oh god, this is not good at all. Um, I have barely any health but that's okay. As you can obviously see, there is a wall in front of us which looks like it needs an immediate and undivided attention. I mean, there is another way of going up, like if you have no bombs at all, check out this. If you have no bombs, go ahead and suck that shroom towards you and you will get pulled over and you will be able to um, go through completely. But because I'm not, I don't have that, I will have to go the long way. I mean, I could just do that, but I, there is some other stuff which I would like to collect here. Uh, I, I have a feeling I'm about to die sometime now. A kinstone piece, that's pretty handy. I need some hearts. So I'm just gonna quickly smash every single pot in this room. Boom, chakao. Come on, please give me a heart. Five bombs, that is very handy. Thanks for the bombs, game. Um, darn it. Gosh dang it, I so need hearts. Coming up to this room, you'll notice this new type of choo choo, which can be killed right after it um, goes into its like metallic form. And boom, we just got ourselves a nice little heart. And five more bombs, which is incredibly useful. So let's equip those. One, two, let's get these blown up. Boom, bop. That's all we needed to do. Now let's get this guy back to the B button. Push this towards the side. Okay, we can't do it that way. Then I guess we do that. And boom, we are through this little bit. And now um, we just get into this little gust, this vortex of wind right here. Move towards the west. Get into the second vortex of wind. Land safely in this area. And slash these tech to death. And hopefully get ourselves another little heart. Okay, no. No. Dang it. So we got like nothing at all. Maybe this will give us something lucky. Are you lucky for me? Okay, five bombs. That was good enough. Now let's climb up here this way. And right here we have... Okay, this place is like nearly useless. So now we come here, kill this tectite, kill this tectite, go back here, pick up this little coin. But as you can see there, there is a bombable door. So we are going to quickly go ahead and bomb it, obviously. And this door is going to give us a very, very important item. When you enter it, you'll see a business scrub. So we're going to quickly get the shield equipped. And oh, you got me. Let me make it up. This fabulous grip ring is perfect for a mount mountaineer like you. Climb in style for only 40 rupees. What a bargain. We have 99 rupees. So obviously, yes, I am going to take it. This is a very, very handy item. Uh, be sure to get it. It is incredibly handy and you will need it to complete. Wow, talk of there are a lot of bombs in this room, gotta say. Yep, there are a ton of bombs in this room. So always so remember you can always restock at this place. So now what the gripping enables us to do is climb up these walls without any problem. And this is insignificant at the moment because we still haven't found a use for that what that is. Let's head back down and Actually, now that we've done that, there's nothing left to do on this side, so let's head up. Let's head back down. 
and we actually want to head towards the left down here and further towards the left or the west in more precise terms but check this out this looks like a door could fit in here so we are going to bomb this area obviously and watch what happens is there a door is there not a door i am taking a while okay there is oh a fairy is found with a piece of heart so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and equip the bottle uh, i need to get one i need to get there we go we got a fairy in our bottle this is perfect uh, now let's get the sword back let's collect this piece of heart we now have three collect just one more to increase our life energy which is awesome and the grip ring will enable us to climb up the crenel wall which is what this is and straight away start moving towards the east because it goes very quickly and ouch get down here you'll see a sign that says no bomb throwing when we see a sign that says no bomb throwing what is your first instinct my friend it is obviously to throw a bomb so let's bomb this wall and boom this has opened up what could this be a much bigger fairy fountain huh but there seems to be no great fairy here so let's let's see that that board it told us not to throw a bomb so let's do just that and see what happens ooh a cut scene okay this that might have been the right thing and oh my gosh what is going on what could this be oh my gosh welcome to the adventurer's spring did you throw the golden bomb at the spring or the silver bomb um i actually threw an ordinary bomb so no i threw neither to be honest you were honest i must reward such an honest adventurer with some of my power you've got a big bomb bag now you can carry more bombs that is awesome 30 bombs this is amazing thank you um miss fairy and so yeah it's it really helps to be be honest sometimes now let's got new scaling the wall there's nothing left for us to do uh we are almost up there the end is in sight come on we are almost at the top of mount crenel like nearly and boom we have like a, oh wow 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 i thought i had the sword equipped okay that is one dead tectite um but this side is we can launch ourselves um let's head down here and you are going to see what is this okay that door to the left can be opened with an item later on in the game so we're going to take it up that later who are, what is this someone wants to use kingstone a oh, red kingstone i do not have anything like that let's see if he switches his kingstone when we talk to him a second time No, it's the same kingstone. So yeah, I can't fuse with him. So let's head back up. Ouch! Boom! Oh, five bombs. Yes, let's fill our bomb container once more. And this is going to catapult us over the edge of Mount Canal into a more stormy Mount Canal. What could be going on here? Let's find out in Minish Four. Oh no! What's up? These raindrops are like boulders of water. Watch out! Oh gosh, these must be doing a lot of damage to us if we get hit. So I'm just going to roll and hope nothing touches us at all, which is exactly what happened. So that went pretty well. And here is a place for us to become back into normal human form. So let's go ahead do that and push this rock into the, this little hole to clear the path. Then let's push the second rock into the hole we saw just to the north of the previous hole. And go, my hope I'm doing it right. Just like that. Um yeah, I I think we we seem to be going the right way. Okay, this definitely is the right way. Um now we want to push it till here, take a step down, come up this way. Turn around, push this in, clear this little pathway for us to move through and boom, we can now access this little place. 
take the leftmost pathway because that's the only one without one of those useless monsters. Um, so yeah. It, this is a sort of puzzle. Um, it's pretty freaking annoying and tough to solve. But you want to push this down. Remember to push that down. Many people forget to do it and get stuck. Um, because that's what happened to me when I played this game. I had to look up a YouTube video to figure out how it was done. And that is exactly how you do it. And suddenly it has stopped storming as much. And we have now entered this little place. And I am obviously going to... Okay, you might might as well just kill this one. Um, let's suck him up into our gust jar and blast him against the wall. Ba bam He is gone. Down and out for the count. And suck these... Suck these pots off because... Um, they Otherwise they would resist our advance with the... Um, with the catapult -y shroom. That's what I'm going to call it because I don't know its actual name in Zelda terms. But there's five handy bombs for us. Uh, I do not know why I did that. I just got gored twice in a row. Boom. And let's suck this guy's mask off. And then suck him. And boom. He is now no longer existent. Let's get the sword equipped back to A. I did not intend to do that. But yeah, let's go back down. And I seem to be low on hearts. That's mostly because I'm a horrible player of Zelda. Let's get this heart real quick. What is this? Um uh, right? Yep, I am. What could be in these parts? Here's a rupee, five bombs. Five bombs. Okay, here's that that's another way to replenish your bombs. And let's this part even I, I got stuck for very long on. You need to get here, lift up this bomb and throw it over in front of that little button to activate. It's it's a bit tricky but it's not that hard. It's, it's very teeny weeny bit. Oh, very teeny weeny bit. I tried to say oh like three times, but it didn't come out as well as I thought it would. So yeah, I'm pretty bad at pronunciation and stuff. Oh, a red rupee, handy. Will the is that is that pod program to always give us red rupee? Um, let's see. Ooh. That's very handy. Okay, I might just farm some rupees off this pot right here. Okay, I am definitely going to farm some rupees off this pot. So I'll see you guys in a sec when I'm done farming my rupees. Okay, so I am done. I have farmed 300 rupees and that is enough for me to be frank. And like it's, it's not... It's exactly how much my wallet can currently hold, so yeah. I would have farmed a lot more otherwise. So let's go on and continue. Dang it! I just messed up that puzzle. Okay, so you want to do it exactly as I'm doing right now. That, perfect. I saw through that one, saw through that one as well. And ba bada boom bam, we have unlocked the next doorway. We are down here now. Huh, here's a little annoying choo choo. Come at me, bro. He gone, he dead. Okay, we can push that. Can we push this? No, can we push this? Yeah, can we? We cannot push these further. Can we push these? Huh, what? Let me just try this out again. There is literally nothing else that I can push. What is supposed to be done right here? Wow, I am struggling on this simple... Oh no! I am such an idiot. A kinstone piece. Okay, whatever. I just totally ignored that shoot shoot right there. But you can totally go ahead and fight him if you'd like to. But yes, we have now transformed to the Minish. And we have entered 
we have found this weird place, huh? Okay, and let's go through this little pass passage and we have entered Millari's Mines and this has the same theme music as the Minish Village and wow, I love this music. There are just Picori all over the place. Actually, there's exactly seven Picoris, but yeah. You can just go around viewing his, all of Milari's junk. Let's just explore because there might be, you never know, there might be something handy waiting for us in store. Um, and let's go down here, nothing as well. Take going down these stairs, we meet. If you head outside, if you head outside, you can see the mines, the humans are, but the boss doesn't let us go. Who could the boss be? It's probably Melari. Could this be Melari? Green clothes, an odd hat? Sir, might you be young Link? I am Melari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help me break a curse. I'd be needing the old, the, the old sword which holds the power of the elements. Show me that broken body blade. I love all this adventure, blah, blah, blah. The Picori blade which we were entrusted with. Now we are giving it to them. It's, uh, we are giving it to them so they can prepare it for us. And they are going to go ahead and do, and do that. And we need to go ahead and find that element. What? You're going to the mine? You should talk to the boss. I won't. If you've talked to the boss, I won't stop you. But be careful. And we are out here at this place at Mount Fresnel. Let's go ahead and transform the full uh, human, the human form. And hit this holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of the wind. And so much crumbled and that's an, there's another of those symbols. You don't know matter how many times you see that, it's still, you're an idiot. Oh yeah, by the way, off screen, oh, this place looks steaming hard. Um, let's not go down there, we, I know where that leads to. So here is the cave of... Flames. It's hot in here. Let's not stand around wasting time. But the Cave of Flames is for another day, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I've been Smarty Pants Gaming. If you like this episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying this playthrough. And I'll see you all once again in the next episode. Thank you.